Flow to this body, he gon' need more than a medic My Cody caught a op on a plate, interception uh-huh. I can't put the cup away, I need an intervention who you think you helping? Better watch your phone when you talk. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Just to be a fat. Being broke is not a joke, nigga. Why you laughing? Do you work for the feds, nigga? Why you asking? You doing so much for the net. What happens when you lack it? My nigga P got that name just for. Chill. I can't wait to see you. Niggas, they be capping, find it hard to believe him. You don't want to see that nigga tiny Are pull you up on you. Are taking a for real? Or? Huh? No, no, no. We're, we're going to keep going. Keep oh, on. Keep bad. on. Keep on. Uh, so, so let's get into it, man. Let's. Cause you know we we're listening to to the tunes here, you know what I'm saying. Um, music. I want to start there before mm-hmm. we even get into your your history and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying. Are you working on a full project? Because right now I'm l- looking through Spotify and I'm looking for a full project. As of now, I don't. Uh, we don't really know yet. We're just uh, trying to drop singles for now, right? Mm-hmm. We're trying to build up our um, you know catalog. Did so you know it's, so when it's the right time and we have enough music it'll make sense for us to drop a big body of work where people want to sit down for an hour to listen to do you okay so that's even mm. in like the plan though because like mm. nowadays like you don't have to really do it right like you can mm. just drop singles like honestly as an artist mm. you don't really have to drop a body of work unless you want to be like considered like a rapper like you know what i'm saying i don't mm. know like what's your mm. take on it like do you feel like it's a must or you're cool with just fuck dropping I mean, that singles fuck. for the rest of the year or the rest of your you see you see how much people are doing crazy numbers off of singles That's you what know what i mean like people are running the tunes on and on and on right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's getting played in every playlist and everything you know what I mean? hold up before we talk mm-hmm. about that uh, mm-hmm. friday because you're you're used to be a retired artist just catch my spotify what's your take on that like on, on uh, breaking down exactly again dropping singles sorry dropping singles would be yeah. versus albums yeah, i'm a person albums. who has like four albums out right so i'm from an older time where like we needed to actually put out like full mixtapes full albums and all that but, shit to even like get on a radar but for the newer artists do you think like they have to like drop albums i think me personally your fan base is going to expect that eventually right mm-hmm. the record labels when they're going to sign you they're expecting you to give them something that their fan base can like they can like sell a full thing to their set to the fan base too right yeah so that's why like you see even like how you're mentioning like you're you're gearing up with singles but like once you have that buzz where like everybody's like yo 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 you know your fans are going to be like where's that album fam yeah where's the mixtape or the ep something right because they're going to want to hear something where they're like they don't have to skip you could just listen to just one body of work while they're driving, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So then that's where, where pressure comes in. Like, do you, you, as artists, as a younger artist, a newer artist, do you feel that in, like, do you feel that kind of pressure? Like, shit, if I'm going to make a body of work, it's going to have to be something that niggas want to really ride to. You know what I'm saying? Like, do I got to put a pause on that? Pause. <laughs> <laughs> when this nigga just looked at me like I'm like shit. Am I missing a pause? You know what I'm saying? No. My bad. Pause. But like you know, somebody's gonna want to listen to for like an hour, a ninety minute drive yeah, or something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We we have those type of tunes. It's just it's just timing, right? And planning, right? Yeah. It takes, it takes a lot of planning to drop an album. You can't just drop an album because a lot of people do that, and you see how it goes, right? Mm. It doesn't go as expected. Like you have to plan it out perfectly. Not per- you can't be perfect, but you have to plan it out good. Yeah. To mm-hmm. do when did you start making music? Well, like, did you originally like? like or I 20, guess your first track was twenty twenty two or twenty twenty. Sorry, twenty eight twenty eighteen. I started wow. making tracks. Okay. Like, that's the first time I went to a studio. Like twenty eighteen. Who brought you to the studio? I just went to the studio. I just okay. booked the session and I just went to the studio. Recorded the one two tracks. Why? What What inspired you to be like, yo? Let me try a thing. Fuck, I'm not gonna lie. I seen I seen my broski drop this track. It was called the uh, Hit a Lick. He dropped this track called Hit a Lick. Okay. And then fuck, I'm like, yes, I need to go to the studio. You know what I mean? I mm. got inspired. And my nigga, RIP, my broski, King Mo. You already done. Oh, yeah, RIP, King Mo. Don't know. Yeah, you don't know what it is. What, was, live. It, what was his? Because yeah. I know he inspired you a lot, right? Yeah. What was inspiration for you? The inspiration for me, basically, man, and we're just chilling on the block, and then we just, you know. Went to a studio, and then after that, me, King Mo, we were just making beer tracks, beer tracks, and then, you know, one day, it's like, I'm gonna drop, one day he's gonna drop, and then we just kept going from there, you know, and then we got views, we actually got views, and then I'm just like, 
So let me take this shit serious. What's getting views though? What's views to you? Like I started back then, you know? So back then would be like 2017, 2016. Went to the stool. So views back then probably be like, back then 100K, 70K, you know? That's not bad still. That's back pretty nice. Then. That's pretty fucking good. You know? yeah. yeah. You guys still have unreleased King Mo music? Like anything that you guys are dropping together or just music from him? Yeah, for sure we got Bear in the Vault, you know? Okay. We're going to be hearing that this year or it's kind of sticky I'm putting it all? It's on the management still. Okay, okay. R.P. King Mo, by the way. Yeah, man. And then, like, let's go back a little bit, even like um, growing up and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? What was like life growing up? Like you're, you're, you're saying Warner area. Warner, right? Right. Or did you guys grow up in Warner? Around there is uh, it's on the seven. It's right near Jane and Haney. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there, seven buildings, right? Okay. So, yeah. and is that part of the name? Like, cause mm-hmm. it's the seven seven Tommy, cause like, is that based off like the area the type of thing? The building. Pretty much, yeah. Based off the buildings. Okay. okay. Based off the buildings, yeah. So you you grew up there most of your life? Yeah, most of my life, most of my childhood, I grew up over there. How was it? It's pretty rough growing up over there. Right? It's not. It's not the typical, you know, it's not, it's not like the suburbs or something like, fuck, it's Metro housing, right? Everywhere around there is Metro housing, rental, you know, co-op type of shit. Fuck, it's just the hood, right? What kind of kid were you? Mm-hmm. What kind of kid were you? Fuck, uh, troublemaker. Uh, trouble so new, you know, just <laughs> fuck, just my trouble so shit, just fucking around, just being alone, you know, just, just being alone, fucking, you know, just a lot of trouble so new. You had siblings? Yeah, I had one sibling, yeah, older bro. Okay, okay. Yeah. He's still around with you? He still rocks with you? Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's my dope, fucking that's dogs. Come on, that's my broski. Shut <laughs> okay. up, my nigga. You never know, don't fam. Know, you know what Don't know. Free bands. Don't know what the fuck it is, gang. Hey. 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 Yeah. And what about you, T-Money? Is um, what's, what's, what's life growing up for you? You know what I'm saying? Sure. Grew up in the same area. You know, same thing he said. Same metro housing, you know? Mm-hmm. Same older brother. You have an older brother too? Yeah, I got an older bro still. That's it? Yeah, older bro. What the fuck? (laughs) So so you guys grew up together too? You guys grew up together? Yeah, I grew up as used together, yeah. That's crazy, yo. That's dope, man, because like, even with y'all both having older brothers and stuff like that, they probably put you on to some some, some hip hop from back in the days and shit, no? So what were they listening to? I got put on to music, my older bro stuff. Right in my door. Used to listen to bear type of music, like used to listen to uh, Hove, used to listen to uh, Hova, used to listen to Royce Fifty Nine, mm. used to listen to fucking um, what's the name? What's the name? Doctor Dre, yeah. wow. fucking Snoop, Shit. all of that. Broski used to just listen to bear fucking tracks like that, and I just used to listen to it too, right? And then it got to Little Wayne, it got to Soldier Boy, fuck, it just started going through, you know, it just started. <laughs> One up and on, you know what I mean? What's your background? Me, a rich end. Okay, oh, salute yeah, to the rich yeah, yo. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And even with that, like, you know, you're mentioning all the different stuff that your bro was listening mm. to, right? Mm. What did you start gravitating towards? Like, okay, I'm going to start listening to this on my own time. You know what I'm saying? Like, which one of those rappers or like, which rappers did you say, okay, these are mine? Fuck, um, not even going to lie. Probably fucking Lil Wayne. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. I used to listen to Lil Wayne Bear. Yeah. Well, I used to listen to Lil Wayne Bear. That guy's hard. Okay. It's hard fucking rapping. I already don't know. Your yeah. first, your first freestyle. My first or did freestyle. You, or was fuck. it your first time writing? Like, what did you do first? Um, man, I'm just used to fucking kick up. Just we're just cool and freestyling. You know, just play beats, freestyle, just freestyle acapella. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like when we had nothing to do, all we do is just freestyle. You know what I mean? Okay. Just, just rapping shit with ball up, just start freestyling, and then one day a man's like, "Yo, fam, let's just go to the studio, let's record, and then so forth." You know what I mean? Yeah. And you then won't- boom, triple seven music. And then that happened. You so know what I mean? You won't write? You refuse to write? Like, you're, uh-huh. you're not going to write? Not- no, no, I write. I'm not going to be a hypocrite and say I don't write. I okay, write. okay, okay. I write. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I like my write, writing more than I like my freestyles. Mm. Yeah, I like my writing more than the freestyles. So I like to hear okay. that. I like to hear that. 100%. And what about you, T-Money? What's, what's the process with you, like, when it came to, um, 
like what you were listening to, you know, what your bro was listening to. Like, what were you hearing in the crib? In the crib, I was hearing a lot of like, you know, Bone Thugs, 57. Mm. Yeah. To, you know, Bone Thugs, you know. <laughs> Still listen to that track. So then we, 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 you cheese that the verses with the three six mafia and fucking bone thugs. Nah, <laughs> you're in cheese. cheese <laughs> who else? Who else is bumping? Mm. For, to be honest, right now, uh, I don't really remember this beer. But beer who did you like? What about who did you fuck with? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're like, you know, what? I'm, a, I'm gonna buy this tape. Or I'm going to keep on running this video over and over again, type of thing. Freaking, I right now. Just uh, honestly, just remember why well, I remember right now. Like, what do you mean back in the day? Like, so, like, let's say year, like, when you're like 13, right? That uh, time when you're like 15, 16. Well, like you know the time when you start choosing like this is the music I like this I is what 15, I'm listening 15, to 15, 16 so I listen to some Toronto music you know okay, okay. like cool music. give me give me some some, mm-hmm. some names of some people from okay. that you're like I'm playing this fucking track or I'm playing this person's music cause he spits better than this fucking guy there's a couple of West End people a couple of Scarborough people you know okay you know what to give the two many days you know what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm I'm trying to do an interrogation <laughs> <Yeah. with my laughs> on this play, yeah. Um okay, the studio process, because y'all been doing this for like a few years now, right? Um from you um T Money, you're saying like twenty sixteen. Um um Tommy, you're saying around twenty eighteen, right? Yeah, twenty eighteen. So over the time now, you what's changed in your studio process? Cause I know like in the beginning it's a little bit more like you know, we're just trying to ting. We're trying to trying different shit. Like, have you had a routine now that you're into? Let me know what that routine's like. Uh, right before I go to the studio or just play beats before I go, mm-hmm. go to the studio, punch down the one, two. I always start with my courses and then go through the verse, the full 16 right after. So just punch in the eight and then the 16 right after. Nice. Mm-hmm. And, what, and what about so you? What about you, T-Money? Me, honestly, I'll stop playing around, you know, stop freestyling and, you know, send it to the mandom. Mm-hmm. And just go to the stew and just slap it up. With them. All right. Slap it up. See in the stew after this. I'm going to the stew. Okay. What about the vibe in the studio? What's the vibe in the studio? Like, man, I'm rent out the studio for the night or they just go in, bang out the tracks, <laughs> get out. All right. Now, shout out Triple Seven Music. You know, they have the studio. We have our own studio locked on class. Okay. Nice. And then, yeah, we just stay there, sit in the stool all day, all night. So how often you guys are in the studio? Like every day or like a once a week? Honestly, every day. Okay. Don't you guys go started there. off the New Year clean every day in the stool. So. Okay. No cap. I seen fucking money go to the studio for 12 months straight. The whole fucking 2021. <laughs> Locked in with SRT, mm-hmm. my nice. word, I never seen that before. So how many so tracks you guys have? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How many songs well, you guys have? Um, right now, not gonna lie, we have we have a lot of tracks. We have a lot. Fifty, of tracks. Yo, seventy. Yo, watch out, watch out, seven step part two on the way though. That's because you mm-hmm. what, what, what? Any, any features on that? Huh? Any features on that? What do you or mean, just you, step part two? Just yeah. Me and oh, just you and him. Yeah, so what about features in general? Like you guys have anybody else that's been reaching out to you guys to want to work? Uh, fuck. For now, I don't really want to say the futures, you know what I mean? I don't want to give it up until we we're ready, you know, and it's ready to be presented, you know what I mean? Is there anybody in general you want to work with in the city? That you have there's a, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people I like to work with, you know what I mean? You guys are keeping it really low key, eh? <laughs> nah, there's a lot of people I like to work with, so, so 100%. Say, so say anything right <laughs> here, a lot of people bro. are going hard. A lot of people are doing their thing. And, you know, when Got time you. comes and the time is right, we'll make music. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes it's sense. It's it's <laughs> so, so you're not like one of those people who are like, I won't do music with this person because they're from this end type of no, thing. No, 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 no. Just, just fuck. Uh, you're only catching me on the tracks with the seven of them. That's all. Mm. I'm going to keep it real. That's all. Okay. I'm okay. Right is, is it harder to like transition to like a regular life or the life that you had before to now being an artist? And like, we always talk about it like, random people coming up to you mm-hmm. and healing you up and shit like i know for t money that must be fucking weird as shit just being in the mall and people being like oh my god it's t money <laughs> like how do you guys react to that shit 
sort of fam. Like, <laughs> no team money is just like the kids was, ice cream, bro. What do you mean? No. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> nah, one time on. I was crazy. I was at Wonderland, you know. Mm. Fan came up to me like, "Oh my god, your team money!" You know, I was at the dogs and. And it was just lady, you know, and then boom. Mm-hmm. They amped it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's for a picture? Yeah. That's for a picture, right? Yeah, yo, what time, yo, what time, yo, we a broski, yo, we a broski, oh. we're at a yard. Oh, we're yeah. just cooling it out of yard, right? And then this, this, we're at a fucking local function, and this youth just walks in over there, this white youth. He looks at money, and he looks at his chain, he's like, yo, is that money? He walks in and then he looks to his left and he sees me. He's like, he's like, no fucking way, man. He's like, you guys are in the same room. I'm like, holy fuck. I'm like, already done. No, I was surprised. He knocked him off, you know. He so didn't love. Ask I was surprised, you know what I mean? Hmm? Nah, I just followed. We just followed him on the gram, you know. Just showed him mm-hmm. some love, you know. But, how does it, but how's that? These are the people that fucking, you know. These are the people that support their music and show yeah. us love, right? Yeah, they don't know you from a can of paint. You know? yeah. so but how does that feel them. for you though? Like, how does that like? Does it get awkward? Is it like yo? Nah, it's not like I'm awkward. Doing? It's not awkward. What do you mean? These these are people who like your music. Can't hate on them. Yeah, can be mm-hmm. fucking, you know. It can be like yeah. awkward with your fans. You know what no, I mean? No, that's facts. You gotta that's show facts. them love. They want to take a picture. You take a picture. You know what I mean? If it's like all kind gestures, you know, those are the guys that are going to buy your tickets. Mm-hmm. They'll come to your shows. They'll buy your merchandise. Taught the tags. Yeah, no, that's yeah. that's real yeah. shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, you got to appreciate the fans, fam. Um, Even like with this music shit, like I know sometimes it's hard to stay at it. Even like with anything in the creative space, right? Mm. Sometimes we're like, fuck. You guys aren't trying to pour up, girl? Um, I, I don't no, drink, don't but drink, you know, because if I don't drink wants either, yeah. you're not pouring up. Nah, fam, you diet, you're on a healthy thing still. <laughs> 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 not me. <laughs> you know, all the kids stay healthy, man. Like, I already Facts. don't know. You know so drink drink responsibly, everybody. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. But like, <laughs> do you ever get like those obstacles where it's like, yo, I don't know if I want to fucking do this shit anymore? Or yeah, like give me that first, and then I have another question for you after about obstacles. Yeah, enough times, enough times. Not gonna lie. Of times, it's fuck shit. Shit gets stressful, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, not everything is fucking perfect, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. All that question, do you like? You see how they have the list and shit like that, right? Obviously, like, kind of like you're a rookie of the or not a rookie of the year, but you're like you're the rookie in this shit. Do you feel a way when they don't mention you or they didn't bring you up or they don't bring you up or it's still like when it comes, it comes. Fuck, I guess other people put more work in and they got the spot, right? But I believe that. We are like you know we we're doing good work and shit and Facts. when the time's right, we'll this light will be you know shut up on us type shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. This is what it is. Can't fucking gotta wait your turn. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Everybody has their turn. Fam. Yeah, and and like um circling back to the uh, obstacles and stuff like that. What do you think is one of the biggest obstacles that you've had before or like while doing this music stuff? Mm. Fuck, trying to stay focused to making music, that type of shit. That's that's one of the obstacles. Trying to stay focused on always making music. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, you know, now I'm trying to stay super focused on making music. I need to make more tracks. You know what I mean? Build up my vote. Build up. You know, need to build up more videos. All that type of shit. Yeah. yeah. What, what about promo? Sorry. Hold on. What about what about you, T Money? What's one of the biggest obstacles? Like since you started like making music, or even mm. before that. One of the biggest obstacles probably like just catching the vibe. You know, actually trying to make good music. You know, mm. stuff that people like bump to. Stuff that people will feel. Catch my flow. You know, mm-hmm. beats. That's just about it. To be honest, everything's there. Yeah, 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 yeah. How how important is prom- promoting and marketing? Mm, more important, it's really important to be honest. And it's good to have a marketing team behind you. you know? Yes, facts. You guys have TikTok. Mm-hmm. You guys have TikTok. Yeah, Broski just made one. Yeah. Follow me. Uh, yeah. yeah. I just made, right. I just made my <laughs> first TikTok. You know, right. follow me on TikTok. Timonia Healthcare. Need to hop on that and fucking lock it. I'm gonna give you a follow. <laughs> Yo. Video right now, already you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go out there, fucking get a one to fucking see. Him. We gotta I do one. We gotta do one before we leave. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have some. Yeah, I seen Chromas in you guys' video. What's your relationship with Chromas? It's the Chrome. That's the dogs. It's the dogs. You know. Facts. Okay. Are, are you still gonna do a song with her, even though she fucked up the shit with academics? Uh, fuck, like, you know, whatever the management wants, you know. 
Fuck. Never mm. imagined I wanted to do good. about it. Yeah. <laughs> good. Holy fuck. Are you sure this guy just started doing this thing? Because I, I feel like a man's media say, training, like, fam. What? Holy. This is not a, yo, they Holy prep fuck. this guy, bro. Seven, oh seven, seven, seven politicians, yo. They bring, up, <laughs> they bring up chromas. No comment that bitch, eh? No, no. no, 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 no fuck no, we're fucking with you. We're fucking with you, man. Oh, man. What, 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 like, what do you think about that situation, though? Do you think, like, do you think the city needs academics in a sense? Or do you think like, regardless if academics promotes the city or not, like the city will be able to shine as long as we put out good music? I'm not gonna lie, we gotta be thankful for academic fam. Like yeah. fuck, <laughs> who else is giving us love fam? What the fuck? My nigga, who's giving us love fam? Like, like a lot of people are giving us love, but like academics is a big platform. Shout out my nigga academics. Shout out my nigga gang, academics gang, too, gang, bro. Gang, yeah, man. Academics. Listen, listen, I'm just giving the conversation. Ak is my guy. Yeah, you don't get it twisted. Ak is my <laughs> guy. Stir the pot. Yo, tell him about triple seven music. You don't know what oh, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next, the next time we're on the stream, I got you. He be tapping in. You know what I'm saying? He be watching. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, you know? Yeah. Um, y'all got any other questions before we get to our next segment? No, no, no. Other what else you guys got going on for this yeah, year? Yeah, like, yeah, what's well, the Those hundred tracks in the vault. As soon as uh, Let It Off gets on, on my Instagram, Team Money RLK, gets 777 comments, then I'm dropping Let It Off. Probably be next week. You know, the comments are going dumb right now. And then, yeah, this guy got two, this quick speed, 200 on the dash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. Huh? 200 on the dash, you got quick speed. Just shout out fucking Reed in the cut. But to fucking do that shit just now, I already done all the vibes. Okay, okay. Just I, waiting on the. So then that. after that, you don't know, bro. He sent me a, you know, uh, part two, seven step. Yeah, huh? yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, I'm waiting. When's for that, that dropping? When's that dropping? Yes, management. You won't even see it. You won't even see it coming. It'll just drop. Mm. Just like that. Yeah, you'll oh, be looking you, straight you'll be just cooling it and I'll drop no no yeah. actually you have to holler at the man them so we can come to the music video huh? so you gotta do pop up, man. Pop up. I, I have I have one more question okay and I should, should ask this earlier okay cause of the fucking what's the line the push ups and then crush the oats give me that line again please fam <laughs> That's my bar fam <laughs> my nigga like you don't understand fam why is it? Why did it appeal to you, though? Why does it, <laughs> it appeal to you, though? I think you got it. Because of the recognition that I caught, like I caught a Don Jail flashback. You understand what I'm saying? So it brings me to like, what was that experience like? Because man, them are like on range, crushing the oats, doing push-ups. Like I, I forgot about that part. Like I was a, I mean, honestly, I was a YO, but you know, okay, I was always on the phone. Dogs are calling me, you know, telling me they're on the range. It's mm -hmm. crazy on the range, you know, down when it was closing down, you know? Yeah. You don't know about them oats in the fucking garbage bag, fam. You make some punch, bro. Holy. Nasty thing that. Anyhow. Fuck. Drink that one oh, time, bro. Drink that one fuck. time in <laughs> throw up, bro. Come on, fam. Okay, oh, seven, seven, Tommy in the motherfucker. Building T money in the motherfucking building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's get to our smoke and mirror segment. And 